Hey, what's going on there, fellow delinquents? Mischief here, and I want to talk about two Glocks. So we got a Glock 34 and a Glock 26. Now, one of the arguments that a lot of people say is that a smaller gun is going to be harder to shoot. Well, we're going to put that to the test right here, because we got the smallest version and the largest version of the Gen 5s. There's no Glock 17L Gen 5, so we're going to have to stick with the Glock 34. So they're both MOS. They both have the same exact sighting system. It's got the Ameriglo Defour uh, sight, so I don't know how to pronounce that, with the Hollow Sun SCS MOS. Now, it's got a pretty small window, but honestly, it's not that bad as long as you use your fundamentals. I didn't even zero this optic. I just took a couple shots at 50 yards, and I was uh, very close to a rock I was aiming at, so I said, ah, it's good enough. Uh, this one right here, this is my everyday carry, and as you can see, what might work against me a little bit is that my pinky ha hangs down right here, but that shouldn't really matter because we use the same magazines anyway. So it's a Glock 17 10-round magazine with a Terran tactical base plate. And uh, this is basically what I like to use for training. I like 10 round magazines for training because it allows me to keep track of how many rounds that I've been shooting. And uh, also because I shoot mostly IDPA and uh, defensive action that uh, we only use 10 round mags. So we got two 10 round mags right here and we're gonna use this Magtech steel case ammo. I have never shot this stuff, but it was the cheapest stuff I could find. So we're gonna see uh, exactly how accurate and reliable it is. So let's go ahead and load up 10. Uh, I got two T-Rex uh, arms targets out there at five yards. And uh, this, is a, this is a common throttle control drill uh, that requires 10 rounds. So let's go ahead and load these up real quick. Now I don't have a holster on me right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this from a low ready position. And we're going to do a Glock 34 first. Ooh, I really messed that up. I really messed that up. So, we were low on this one. We got two. One, two. One, one, two, three, four. I actually haven't shot this Glock 34 in forever. It's been kind of sitting there. It's been kind of sitting there in uh, uh, in my corner of my bedroom, and I haven't really picked it up. So, anyway, I haven't been shooting a lot of Glocks. I really haven't. I need to. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead, and we're going to try the Glock 26. Anyway, uh, that was 6 seconds, 6.13. First shot was a 9.1. So, uh, yeah, that was terrible. But, eh, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and try the Glock 26 real quick. All right, Glock 26. A bit better. Alright. So, dropped one. That's good. That's good. Good and good. Uh, that was a 615. I think that was the same time. First shot was a little slow. That, that was my first shot right there. That was my cold start, by the way. So, definitely I slowed down for that first shot and uh, I actually decided what I wanted to do. And I wanted to go one, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, one, two. I mean, the Glock 26, I actually shoot this a little bit more than the Glock 34. So that's probably the reason why I'm doing a little bit better. Um, you know what? Why don't we mark these up and then I'll go run through that drill again. Why not? You can definitely tell I don't do this drill very often. I actually can't remember the last time I did this drill. Okay. So you know what? I am going to change up the order. I'm going to go for the large circle first and then go for the smaller circle. So let's go four, two, two, one, one. All right. Yep. <laughs> Same time, 615. All right. Okie doke. So, dropped one out of the two. That one's good. That one's good. Dropped one out of the one. One, two, three. I think four might be right here. So, it was better. I actually think the Glock 26 did a little bit better, but we're going to see. Same thing. We're going to go four, two, two, one, one.
Okay. I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. And we are clean. 583, first shot was a 91. I'm shooting faster. Nine was the first shot, so with the 34, I got my first shot off faster, but it didn't help me in the long run. So a 9-1, a 3-1, 2-9, 3 4 6 5 6 7 3 6 3 6 5 7 2 So 583 for that one right there. I shot the Glock 26 clean faster than I shot the Glock 34. It's not looking good for the 34, I'm telling you that much. All right, let's do something a little bit different. We're, gonna, we're at 50 feet. We're going to do a little bullseye accuracy. So let's see what we got here. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, Glock 26. Okay, let's go take a look. So Glock 34 is really, really accurate for just slow fire, long range shooting. A Glock 26, you can see I'm stringing a little bit to the left and right while the 34 is a little more consistent. That first shot I threw, and then the rest of the group was dead center right there. That Glock 26, I threw one shot straight to the left, and then I was stringing them a little bit left and right. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. I guess the Glock 34 is a little bit softer shooting from shot to shot, but is it really helping you as far as practical accuracy is concerned? I mean, that's something that you're gonna have to judge. All right, so we're at the plate rack. We got six rounds in the Glock 26. Let's go ahead and go. Okay. First shot was a 112, so this was a 51. 463 12 12 19 19 432 First shot way off, but 429 1, 2, 7, 7, 6, 5, 7, 4, 7, 6, 7. I felt like I was a little bit faster, but my first shot was a little bit too fast and I threw it. Let's try the Glock 34. Those bowling ball, those, those bowling pins are kind of, uh, they're very difficult to hit if you if you jerk it to the left or right. Uh, this is definitely faster. Still missed two. Six three six one five five five. So, yeah. I mean, as far as shooting, as far as shooting steel plates, I really can't tell you that the Glock thirty four is much better. It's softer shooting. Is that softer shooting gonna do you any good? If you're not hitting the target. Okay, well, let's... I, wa I want to do one last drill before we finally figure this out. Actually, you know what? Let's do two more drills. We're going to do a long-range drill, and then we're going to do a reload drill. So let's go ahead and set this up. Okay. So now we're going to shoot at the plate at 50 yards and see how we do. Does a shorter or longer barrel do you any good at 50 yards?
Alright, I hit it a few times, let's go take a look. I had a nice group going there for a second. One, two, three, four, maybe five there, six. And then I had like, I had a few drop low, but that's actually because that trigger, I pulled, when I, when I pressed that trigger, I pulled the shot down. So that was me, but yeah, at 50 yards, I don't really think that it's going to make much of a difference. And let's try the Glock 34. All right, Glock 34 at 50 yards. Let's do this. Alright, let's go take a look. Alright, most of my shots seem a little bit to the left. But, it might have been me. My first shot went right off the left side. Now, in my subjective opinion, I would say that the Glock 34 has a little more thump. You can see when I was hitting it, that this plate was swinging. That's not a light plate either, it's pretty heavy. So, definitely that longer barrel. That longer barrel is giving you some velocity. Um, it's also feels, I, I, I would definitely say that the recoil impulse, it definitely feels softer than the Glock 26. Is it really doing enough for you for what your purposes are? That's the question. Um, for me personally, I think the Glock 26 is actually shooting a little bit, uh, a, a little bit better for me. I can't explain why. <laughs> I really can't explain why. Now let's do something I definitely know the Glock 34 is going to be better at. Let's do a reload drill. Alright, we're standing back here about 10-ish yards. Gonna do 5, reload 5, and I'm doing a pocket reload. Actually, I'll do it back here. It's a little more consistent. Yeah, okay. So do a 5, reload 5, and see what we get. Fail to lock back. Okay. So, first shot was uh, 89. 24, 25, 22, 21. Reload was a 213. 28, 25, 22, 21. All right, there's my impacts right there. So, you definitely tell as I'm shooting faster and I'm pushing the gun left. I'm pushing the gun left, and then these four shots up here, what that is right there is I let the recoil ride up, and I didn't, I didn't, keep, the, I didn't keep the gun on target, so the recoil came up, and that's how I got these high shots right there. I was healing the gun. So, got to remember that for next one. All right, let's do the Glock 26. All right, Glock 26, let's go ahead and do this. Oof. Five thirteen. I fumbled that. I fumbled that reload, and then my shot immediately after. Um, yeah, I pressed the shot faster than I was anticipating. Two three, two zero, two one, two fifty. So a little bit slower, but at the same time, I think that had more to do with me grabbing the magazine than it did the actually changing the magazine. Four two two six, two 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 two. All right, I think I have all the shots on target too. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, maybe I did miss one. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I might have, I think I might have dropped one. The group is much tighter in the center though. You know, let's go run that again. I got plenty of ammo. We'll run that again between both of them and see what happens. So I changed the position of where my magazine is. Let's see if that changes anything. Okay. I had a much tighter grip that time. So, first shot was a 7-1. 2-3, a 2-2. 1-8, 2-1. 
two second reload. Two five, two two, two one, two one. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we got four Charlies. Okay, I'll take it. Let's uh let's see the Glock 26. Alright, Glock 26. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. First shot was a 66. We got a 2 4, 2 2, 2 1, 2. A 1 1.9 reload. <laughs> a 2 4, 2 1, a 2 1, and a 2 1. I think my shooting was a little bit slower. I think I had like a 1 9 or something in there. But I have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 alphas, 2 Charlie. I hate to say it, I'm shooting this better. I, I, I don't really, I, I don't get it. I really don't. So yeah, the Glock 26 versus the Glock 34. I mean, which one are you going to pick? Are you going to pick the longer one? I can't hit anything with? Or the shorter one? I mean, does it really matter? Is what 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 are you trying to accomplish with the pistol? I guess is what I'm going was what I'm trying to say. As far as I'm concerned, for a, a well-rounded pistol, I think the Glock 26 is working out really well for me. Um, I think I chose a really good carry gun. As far as the Glock 34 is concerned, I'm not shooting it very well. I, I'm not shooting any better than the Glock 26. It does shoot softer. I'll give it that. It definitely does shoot softer. But as far as Magazine changes, uh, short re uh, recoil control, uh, getting on target. I'm not doing too well with the Glock 34, and I'm using the same sighting system. So there's no excuse. It's the same sights, the same trigger, same same generation. There's no excuse for me to be shooting this thing worse than this thing. So, I mean, you come to the conclusion, write down in the comments below what which one you think is better for you. And what you plan on using it for, but yeah, that's basically all I got for you, so make sure you stay out of trouble. And if you can't stay out of trouble, you didn't learn from me. Meow.